G'day guys, welcome back to Cakes by Chopper. Today we have Yoda for you from the Clone Wars cartoon series. Before we get into that, I just want to send a big good day over to Blue and Georgie. Blue's only five years old and he's a big fan of my videos. Here is the first cake he ever decorated and he's only five. That is awesome work, Blue. Love it. Keep it up, mate. Now it's time for Yoda. What you're going to do is print off the template from the Cakes by Chopper Facebook page. Links are in the description. Using the knife vertically, you're going to cut out the ears and the head. I've done the ears separately because this is quite a wide cake, so you're going to need a pretty wide board for the cake itself. Cut his ears in half to give it that depth. Then you're going to go around the top of his head and the bottom and taper off the edges so you don't have any harsh lines. Just trim some of the off cuts to make his eyebrows and his top and bottom lip. Then you're going to glue them down with some frosting. Once you've got that positioning right, you can give it a crumb coat. A little tip, stick your cake in the freezer for about 15 to 20 minutes so it's firm and you won't get as many crumbs happening here because when I trimmed the cake it made it very soft and it was a little bit tricky to work with. Okay, so once it's got the crumb coat on, go around the edges, clean up your cake board, pop it into the fridge, and then you can color your fondant. Unfortunately, I didn't film the rolling of this and placing it on, but check out some of my other videos and you see that technique. Once the fondant is on, make sure you smooth it down all the way around, trim off the excess, ball it up and smooth it out. Then using either your finger or a sculpting tool, go in and put in his details. If you don't have the sculpting tools, the back of a paintbrush works just fine. Once you're happy with all the lines and creases and wrinkles you've put in Yoda, you'll need to grab a plate and some food colouring. I'd recommend you have green, brown and black. And then you're going to go in and give him some highlights and some shadows. I just mixed them till I felt the colour was right. I started with the darker shadowing first and went around all the creases in his face. And then I used the base colour for his skin to go over and give him the shadowing and depth. Then I used the black and darker colors to give him more detail and make it a little bit more sharper. And then I diluted that in a little bit of water and lightened up the rest of his skin just to give it that all over smooth look. As you can see here, when I work his forehead, it takes it from being just lines to an actual texture and gives it that rough look. Because Yoda's quite old, so you want him to look old. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's a description, but that will do. Once you're done with these colouring, you can cut out some lemon shapes for his eyes. These are easily manipulated once on, so place them on and then mould them to where you need them. And then paint on two yellow circles. And then I got the fine brush and went around it with a black. And then put in the big black pupils and then balled up a little piece of white fondant to make those eyes come to life. I'm not sure why, but this little dot really makes a big change in the look of the eyes. And then I lined his eyes with some green fondant and it was a bit too light for my liking. So I went over with the paintbrush and darkened it up a bit and it just seemed to melt in really, really well. Then you're going to grab some of your excess fondant that's still from before roll it out into a long snake, trim it all the way around your Yoda cake, and then you are done. Very simple, but looks really effective. If you guys like this video, please subscribe, share it on Facebook, or even if you know a Star Wars fan, email it to them. That would be fantastic. I really appreciate you guys watching my videos and taking the time to let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, just a reminder that I've started doing two uploads a week, Easy Cakes on Tuesday and more advanced ones on Friday. Here are some of my other cakes. If you haven't seen these ones, just click the links above. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you Tuesday. Bye, guys.